Ah, oh, London. What a town. History around every corner, and a tourist photographing it. Pubs serving up a pint and a smile. All that music, theater, and art, and multiculturalism. And the world's oldest underground, the Tube. The class of cities, really. Top shelf stuff. Only took 12,000 years to build it up, and one night to tear it all down. Perimeter security's down, but plenty of your flying friends about. Fucking hell. Dalton, no time to waste. Yes, ma'am. I'm in. Any idea what we're up against, Bagley? If you haven't brushed off, I might. Ever consider leaving these security threats to the authorities? That's rich, Bagley. The government would sooner arrest us for trying to help than actually do something useful. We'll have to sort this one on our own. Carefully, Dalton. Bagley, are you detecting a little worry in Sabine's voice? Brilliant. Asking the computer about feelings. This explains so much. Shut it, you two, and get to work. There she is. a favor and keep it quiet, Dalton. If they don't shoot me, I won't shoot them. How's that?
of dead set gear down here. And why do you suppose that is? What? How did they get their hands on it? I don't know. But someone wants to make it look like dead set was here. Shit. You need to proceed with extreme caution, Dalton. Who are these men in black anyway? Nothing identifying. I suspect that's by design. The entire place is rigged to blow. Jesus, those canisters. Badly as that. RDX nitrogen. Enough to level Parliament. Can you locate a detonator, Bagley? Not exactly, but there's a device streaming a fuckload of encrypted data from the floor above you. Yeah, that fits the bill. On my way. Bagley, is that not the detonator? No, but it's a transmitter sending a signal to a device on the floor above us. Safe to assume that would be the detonator we're looking for. are going to blow up Parliament and hang it on us. Not if you get to that detonator first. of Commons. Whoever these men in black are, they've got brass bollocks to set up in the centre of government. Found the detonator. And it's definitely live. Bagley, I'm gonna need some help with this. Yes, you are, but sadly, I'm locked out. Fuck. Well, we don't have a chance without Bagley. Wait, I might know a workaround. We trained in manual overrides at MI5. If you're full of surprises. Be quick about it. All right, Bagley, do your thing. I'm in. And the bombs have just armed themselves. 
Well, that may complicate matters. For fuck's sake. Can you defuse them or not? Of course I can. But I might also trip another failsafe and vaporize you, so fair warning. I expect this to draw some attention your way, Dalton. Oh, I'm counting on it. Company at our back door. Shit. Dalton, we've got some heat here at HQ. How long is this going to take, Bagley? Depends how often you interrupt me with questions. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. It's about to get real. I'll try and hold them off. They gotta be somewhere. Don't see anything here. Stay alert. Bagley, update. Let's just say I'm both impressed and annoyed by how sophisticated oh, this anti tamper security is. Still oh. working. Oh. Taking a cover position. Damn it. Bagley, tell me you're close. I'm through security, now wading through terabytes of decoy code looking for the detonation sequence. so bad, was it? Bagley, you bastard. You nearly gave me a bloody heart attack then. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa, what the fuck am I looking at? It appears Parliament is not the only target. More bombs are going live as we speak. On screen, Bagley. Now we need to get the word out. Those sites need to be evacuated. They're spread out all over London. There isn't any time. But my sisters at the town conference... We have to do something. I picked up a transmitter on the roof that is sending out a signal to the other bomb sites. If you can reach it, I can shut it all down. Sabine! Fuck! Dalton, we're breached! Go! The roof! Sabine, what's going on? We're being raided. It's a bloodbath. Her protocol is to wipe everything, including Bagley. I need him for the transmitter. I know, but if they get him, they get everything. Names, ops, locations. Okay, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Wipe him. Yes, wipe me. Do it, Sabine, and get the hell out of there. Fuck. Okay. Bagley's down. You're on your own. Dalton, if this goes... It won't. I'll see you at the rally point. I promise. Good luck.
anyone still up? Staying down! Going in to check. Go search over there. some important work. Important work? Killing thousands of... Exactly. To save the world. You do know Londoners have died before. Hmm? The plague, the Great Fire, the Blitz. There's not much fun. But destruction is always the cure. And it begins today. Zero day. devastated three sites in London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as the situation continues to develop. We have received no official casualty total, but it is expected. Mourners gathered for a series of candlelight vigils that brought closure to thousands of families and indeed to an entire city. London is now laser focused. They attend Downing Street where Nigel Cass, CEO of private military company Albion, received a mandate to secure London. Cass has vowed to hunt down dead set. Terrorist response is way on course. Albion used cutting-edge artificial intelligence systems and autonomous drones to capture the remaining members of dead set. A stark warning to would-be insurgents. Top corporations are posting record profits due to increased efficiencies in production and distribution, enabled by the use of technologies initially developed and approved for security purposes. As crime numbers take a dive, illegal gambling, drug trafficking and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of London's five largest criminal syndicates, the streets of Camden and Brixton. As Albion's mandate is extended indefinitely by the government, life finally begins to return to normal. Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all boroughs. Reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated, possibly by foreign meddlers pushing a false narrative through social media. Albion is in complete control of a few reprimand the public about the circulation of fake news, conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet that terrorist group dead set were framed for the bombings have been roundly rejected. Our own reporters could not find a single Londoner willing to expound those theories on camera. The facts simply don't any other story.
I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DeadSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. I'm Claire Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, DeadSec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now, I've been saying from the start we should have round up dead sick and thrown them in jail. Now, I say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at town! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than DedSec ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you there. What do you make of all this? I think in everything, dead sex showed their true colors. It's terrifying to think we harbored such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find dead sex more frightening than the different gangs in London like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next I have Quinto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Everyone should. Why make it easier for them to track you? And now we've seen what they're capable of and how far they're willing to go. Hold on. Do you mean the government? Are you suggesting the government was responsible for the bombings? Oh, trust me, Claire. They didn't do it alone. They're all in on it. The government, Albion, Sirs, Bloom, Sky Bloody Larson, and all the way up to Downing Street. They want to keep us scared, harness us with, with mind control, suck so every last ounce of usefulness out of us, and, and even a death will set off our bodies. And what do you suggest we do, Crypto King? Go underground. Deep enough, no electric signal can get you. It's the only way. Well, thank you to all of our callers today, and thank you for tuning in and scouting for the truth along with me. Next week, Buccaneer Radio will be diving into the help. is worse than I thought. Ah, uh, but there's a candidate. Looks like you're dead sex best hope. We're talking. Glad to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. 
I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. Ah, sure. Whatever. I'm Claire Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, DeadSec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You'll have to do the manual override. Oh, shit. I've been caught up in some spy movie. This is mental. See you downstairs later then. Are you got this blood? Stay cool, you're hard.
Yo, yo! Anyone here? Better turn on the juice. In today's episode of The Upload, we're talking about how Bagley managed to conquer London. Pretty much my favorite topic, I could talk for hours about the rise of the AI system. It's easy to forget about its origins, it's so present everywhere we go now. Bagley just kind of blends into the background. Bagley is the service AI that's present in every optic device. Whether you're using the optic, Bagley will be there. The AI is streamed to your optic from Bloom Central Command Center, and it was first created by Sky Larson, our tech hero, as part of her techno-utopian idea for the world. Why do you think it grew so quickly? In my mind, it's no surprise that Bagley became so popular. It's funny, useful, fast. It's a great companion and really just makes life so much easier. I mean, when you look back at all the service AIs that used to exist, they just can't compete. When you ask Bagley anything, there's a quick answer and loads of information available to you. One day, I let Bagley answer all of my messages for a whole 24 hours, and no one even noticed the difference. The other competitors really just couldn't compete with Bagley. Their answers were so much worse, they didn't understand anything, and Bagley pretty much gets everything right first time. Do you have any idea why Bagley really beat all the competition? No DedSec registration detected. Identify yourself, or I'll seal the exit, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. Bro, it's cool. You know Sabine? She's my mate. Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DedSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the DedSec network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. to his collection. Coming up today on The Upload, we're talking about Sky Larson, the enigmatic founder of Broker Tech. Everyone knows her name, but no one knows too much about her. And we only really see her these days as a hologram. She was pretty young when she launched Broker Tech, the company that is best known for introducing Bagley to the world. Nowadays, it's hard to remember a world before Bagley. And I think that what Sky Larson... it i'm reconnected to the network downloading our database news archives and oh 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 no terrorist group deadsec responsible for deadly bombings in london dalton wolf dead i leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up so bagley bags if deadsec didn't bomb the city then who did there's a gap in my memory after dalton well let's be honest after i disarmed the bomb at parliament i'm missing information about what happened after i was taken offline but from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DedSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call.
patching in Sabine Brent now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Backley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black, the same that were at Parliament, maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. Oh, my days. How does a girl like you get out of that clash? I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city, and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red-flagged as a high-priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition here would have you hunted down and shot on sight. Yeah, bruv. Look, it's hard out here for dead sec, man. I've always wanted to roll with you lot, but I don't want to get murked or anything, innit? Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DeadSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? Well, I guess if I do get murked, it's better to go out fucking blazing. Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to DeadSec. Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your dead set kit. We have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on.
You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DedSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DedSec contact, not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Go to the practice ring and she'll show you how to stop flinching when someone cocks a punch at you. I'll be right down. Could use the warm-up. Let's start with some basic strikes. Hit me. Don't be shy. Nice one. Couldn't have done that better myself. in order? No enough not to punch yourself in the face or get shot for pulling out a gun too early? Brilliant. I'm working out how we find Zero Day and ruin their day, but I need someone with actual legs to do the legwork. Hope you're ready. We have some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you be the judge of how best to handle yourself, but remember, you represent DedSec now. London Calling. You're listening to Buccaneer, your pirate podcast source for what they don't want you to know. I'm Tash, and this time we're giving a special shout out from us to the boys and girls at the Signal and Intelligence Response Service, better known as SIRS. Why not? They're going to be listening anyway. They're listening to everything. 
They probably know that you're listening to this show right now. But don't worry, we're not going to say anything bad about a massive, unaccountable spy organization that uses its powers to stifle dissent and shut... Let's do this. Where do we start? Make no mistake, London is under occupation. Armed mercenaries patrol our streets, allegedly to keep people safe, but really they're keeping the people scared. Oh, fucking Albion. They're not keeping us safe, they're keeping us unsafe. Am I right? So, we have to ignite the will to resist in the people of London by showing them that Albion aren't the solution. They're the problem. For that, we'll need information. I'm pushing two sets of coordinates to your optic. Cheers, Bagley. I've identified two opportunities. One, we're going to disrupt some Albion propaganda. Remind the people it's not Albion's way or the highway. Two, we need intel about Albion operations if we want to throw a spanner in their plans. You game? Oh, fuck yeah. I'll throw spanners all over the fucking place. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. Building a resistance group requires operatives with specialized skills. Technical abilities, firearms handling and physical training are all valuable. Bare knuckled boxing rings are a good place to find people who are good at throwing punches or taking them. By defeating each opponent in an arena, you'll have an opportunity to face its best fighter. Prove your physical superiority and they may consider joining DedSec. I'm guessing that's some sort of primate society thing.
identification cards at all times. It is your duty to maintain no. order. Thank you. Investigating disturbance. Target resisting arrest. Using restraining measures. Which suspect reported in your area? Potentially armed and hostile. Received. Watching for suspect. Jeez. Control, I've lost the target. Return to HQ. This is pointless.
don't have the time right now. I'll fucking break you and all. Gal's got a stick up at us. She's a shady character, that's for sure. Her network activity shows she's been trying to hack the National Health Service. Fuck, you know. The NHS can't take anyone hacking it. The system is on the verge of collapse already. Oh, no. A human hacker clumsily mucking about in a space she barely understands. Whatever will we do? All right, connect me to it and I'll sort it. Any hospital server will do. Ah, uh, cool. I'm all over it. What the? Counter-terrorism, counter-intelligence, countering organized crime. Signal intelligence response leads the world in surveillance. It's great British technology protecting great British values. Sirs, watching over Britain, watching out for you.
You're in. Now find the thing.
Okay. Okay. to set the world, right? Always. in from there.
Are you ready for a new operation? Yeah, man, let's up in this. 